Hey, this is Jason Johnston, instructional designer at University of Kentucky, and I'm here Zooming with Admiral Akbar. And uh, today we're going to demonstrate how polling works in Zoom. There's two different ways to start up a poll. One is from the Zoom web interface here. And so we have my meetings here that are scheduled. You can see this one is running right now, online office hours. If I click on there, we scroll down, and they've actually moved where the poll button is. It's down here in the very bottom left, like a little tab. I've created one poll. I'm going to show you how to add a poll into this live session by clicking on Add. And I'm going to ask poll one, type in my question, and my answers down here, different selections for a Single choice essentially means it is multiple choice, but it means there's only one single correct answer versus multiple correct answers. And I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to save this poll. And now that this poll number one is saved here, and you could create all sorts of polls there and have them available to you. I can go over back here to my Zoom meeting with Admiral Akbar. We can click on polls down here below. And here is our poll. We can launch our polling. Now on Admiral Akbar's screen, he's using a mobile device. And he will just see this poll up on his mobile device. When he selects, we will see that on our screen. And we see the instant results here. We can end polling. We can share results, and when we share results, they will pop back up on his screen as well, on the mobile device, until we click on Stop, Share Results, and close our poll. So that is one way to do it from the web-based preferences. The other way is to launch a poll directly from the poll button here. If we click on Edit, it will go directly then to our page, the web-based page, and we can add our poll there. So that is how you do polls in Zoom. Hopefully that was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions.